What's up everyone, this is Brad from iBuyPower. Today we're gonna to be doing a short video uh, showing you how to set up your new Snowblind PC. This is our signature Snowblind case with the transparent LCD side panel. Before you get to setting up your side panel, make sure you set up your Windows user account, make all those customizations on your main monitor first, uh, and then go ahead and plug in your side panel. Depending on the model of Snowblind you have, there may be a different type of cable to plug in your panel. The older Snowblind N450 and Element will use a DVI cable, whereas the newer Snowblind S will use a HDMI cable. When you first plug your panel in, you may notice that the screen is oriented differently. Maybe it's not right side up. Just go into your Windows display settings uh, and you may have to rotate it either portrait or landscape flipped. All right, so now everything's right side up. Another thing you may notice is your taskbar visible uh, on your Snowblind display. If you want to get rid of that, there's a setting also in Windows. Uh, it's under the taskbar settings. Show taskbar on all displays. Go ahead and turn that off and the taskbar will disappear. Make your side panel all nice and clean. As far as getting content onto the panel, you see here we have some cool meters showing CPU usage. I have a clock and there's this uh, neat little background here. The meters are powered by an open source program called Rain Meter. You can go ahead and download at that at rainmeter.net. We'll link it in the description. Uh, and the video wallpaper is powered by Wallpaper Engine, uh, which is a download on Steam. It's usually about five bucks. It's very powerful. It's, both programs have huge libraries of user generated content. Um, for Rain Meter, we actually have our own skins. These meters that you see here, you can download them from our driver page, also linked in the description. And if you want to kind of play around with arranging them, the side panel just shows up like a monitor uh, on your computer. So you can go ahead and move your mouse over onto the side panel and kind of move stuff around, you know, however you like, leave it there. One of the great things about Wallpaper Engine is it's not like a full screen video player. It actually replaces your desktop background with a video uh, or picture file. So you don't have to worry about minimizing it or clicking it or doing anything. It's just gonna kind of stay there and be uh, unintrusive. Do remember that some of these meters take CPU usage to run, especially ones with complicated animations and, and if you run a lot of these like CPU temperature, GPU temperature. Uh, so if you are gaming, uh, it may be a good idea to pause it to give more resources to your CPU. If when you get your Snowblind and get it all set up, you notice there's any kind of issues with the screen, uh, make sure you get in contact with us. Uh, that's all gonna be covered by warranty, of course. You know, if there's any dead pixels or spots or things like that, you know, just uh, hit us up and we'll take care of you. If you have any other questions or I missed something, uh, go ahead, leave a question on this video, hit us up on social media. You know, we'll get in touch, try to help you out. Thank you.